Hi there, my name's Adrian, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. And today we're in the garden. So we're going to describe how to repair an engine that is hunting in the quickest possible and simplest possible way. So it's difficult to describe what the hunting means. It's a variation in the RPM of the engine. I've got a video clip here of a pressure washer that was actually doing this hunting. So I'll insert this here and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I hope that explained what the hunting is. It's that variation in the RPM of the engine. Typically that would be caused by a blocked idle jet in the carburetor. So there are two sets of jets. There's the main jet and emulsion tube, which is underneath. That would require disassembly. But the first go-to place for a hunting engine is the idle jet. So it's located here on the side of the carburetor. Just to make things simple, I've removed a carburetor from a machine. I've got a spare one here. And I'm going to show you the idle jet is this black plastic piece here. So we'll go into the workshop in the shed here and I'll show you exactly what we need to do in this area to cure that issue. So we're going to need a couple of tools for this. I've got a long nose pliers, a cross head screwdriver and a set of micro drills. Now this is a cheap little set from Amazon, next day delivery. I believe it was about six pounds. So it's a little handle for hand drilling and lots of very small drills. And we're gonna need a drill about 0.3 millimeters at some point. And we just operate it by hand, but I'll show you that. So we need to remove the idle jet. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a note of where this screw was. And I'm looking at it closely and I can see the protrusion on the back is about two millimeters. So I'm going to remove this screw anti-clockwise and just take it out. Now it's a plastic screw I just drop my screwdriver there and it will unscrew quite easily completely out. We'll put that to one side safe. So this is the idle jet. I'm just going to get my little long nose pliers, squeeze it on the underside and you can see it quite easily popped out. So this is the item we need to be looking at. If at this point you, you have a tin of carburetor cleaner, it's well worth spraying a bit of carburetor cleaner down into there. Brake cleaner, carburetor cleaner typically, just to make sure there's no grit and grime in that hole. So in the underside of this, you'll see a little brass unit inside. And in the very inside of that is a tiny little hole. What we're going to be doing with the drills is cleaning out that hole to make sure that it's not blocked or partially blocked. So as you can see, the set comprises of all sorts of sizes of drills, but they go right down to extremely small. So I'm just going to grab not the smallest. I think that's a bit extreme. I just dropped the smallest one there. You can see it's minute. Okay, I'm going to grab about three or four up. So I'm just going to close the collet on my little hand drill. Tighten up the collet. So that's what I'm going to start with is that tiny little hand drill. Just going to gently feed it in through the nozzle there. See if I can pick up the jet. Now, I'm feeling quite a bit of a resistance there. It's actually is entering into the jet. Now this jet is blocked, it's a dirty carburetor. And this will remove any sort of varnishing, um, any tiny deposits of stale fuel that can get inside that jet and block it up. So I'm just rotating it. I'm being very gentle with this so as not to snap the drill bit and gradually putting a little tiny bit of pressure on it. And at some point when it breaks through the other side, let me just retract it. I'm just pulling it out. I can feel some resistance because I know it's entering now. I'm not getting any of the brass bush. If you start getting any of the brass coming out with the drill, there we are. Now, the drill has just broken through. and I don't know if it's possible to see Perhaps if I put it up against the light here, you'll be able to see the drill coming through. So we're in the macro territory here, but as you can see, the drill's gone through and into that cross hole in the jet. So that's thoroughly cleaned out. So I'll keep rotating in the same direction, just gently withdraw the drill bit. So a little bit of compressed air, or you can blow through it just to remove any debris that might be in that jet. Okay, so that's that jet cleaned out. I'll just put my drills away, a little bit of housekeeping to make sure I don't lose them. They are very small. Um, probably best you do this in a, 
um, you know, when you come to do this thing, do, do it on a workbench or a worktop of some description rather than in the garden because you are going to lose bits um, quite easily. So, obviously the carburetor would still be on the machine at this time, um, but I've removed, I've got a carburetor here just purely for filming. So, orientation, this way round. You can see it's two flats, but it needs to go this way round. And there's a little part of the casting here which will make sure you put it in the right way. So I'll just line it up roughly. And you can do this on the machine. Just line it up there, pop it into the hole. Here we are. So that's there now, done. So now I can replace the little screw. So I'll just start it by hand. Just the first couple of turns. So this is a plastic thread, so important we don't cross thread it. And then using the Phillips screwdriver or cross headed screwdriver, I'm going to wind it back in to the same position where it was when I took it out. Again, with about two mil sticking out of the other side. Um, so that would be how to do the job. Now, of course, at this stage, you could simply start the mower back up, see if the hunting has gone away. Nine times out of 10, or more than nine, probably 90% of the time, I find this works to cure the problem with a hunting engine. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and thank you for joining me.